Hello once again everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Black Mesa. So in the last episode we were investigating this lovely tentacle monster in here. Let's try not to get too close. Um, and yeah, we discovered that it doesn't really play by the rules. Um, it's supposed to be triggered by sound and come and attack you when you when you run around in there or when you shoot it or anything like that. But it turned out in fact it was actually hearing me throwing grenades as well. So that's a bit rude. So I think what we'll do instead, instead of going back in there and trying to um, deal with it again, let's try and drop down this hole without falling in. And from down here... Uh, And then from down here, we'll um, go over and see if we can get the power turned on for the um, rocket as well. So in the last episode, I was, as you probably remember, because I don't know, there's a reasonable chance you're watching that about five minutes ago, if not so soon, more, uh, if not um, even more recently. Um, as you probably remember from that episode, I came down here. I, I went through the other set of um, doors. and was able to get the, the fuel supply and the, the oxygen supply turned turn back on again. And that was going through pipes, oh, I don't know where they are, somewhere up, somewhere up there. Probably those ones over there, I think. Uh, so that got the that got the rocket fueled and um, oxygenated, for want of a better word. Then down here, yeah, we've got the power that we have needed to get turned on as well. So there's a bit more, a little bit more to do. It feels kind of quiet. I can hear a weird groaning noise, and I'm not sure whether that's creaking of metal or whether it's that. I think it might be the massive tentacle beast, to be honest. And I think. Ooh, ammunition, excellent. I definitely need some of that. I sp these boxes are slightly frustrating because there's enough of them that it feels worth opening them all. Um, that is, there's enough of them with interesting stuff in them that it feels like worth it feels like it's worth opening them up. That's better. <laughs> I feel like that makes up for how badly I did with the um, with the uh, Sonic Dooberries on the in the pre beginning of the previous episode. But I'm going to claim they took me by surprise because the episode hadn't really started at that point, and this time I took them by surprise. So um, yeah, I'm not very good at finishing sentences. What I was trying to Say. Oh, there's a cool squid. Let's take that out. Ow, partly got me. There we go. What I was trying to say is that there are enough of these boxes that opening them all feels like a little bit of a trick. And they don't have a high enough rate of there being interesting things in them. So sometimes there is interesting things like that. And that makes it feel that, yeah, maybe I should be opening them all and having a good look inside. That's all just detritus, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, so it makes me think, yeah, maybe I should be opening them all, but it's a bit of a, a faff to do so. Because I think quite a lot of them. Oh, I'm full health. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. You're a green button. That's pulling something up out of the ooze down there. I wonder what that is. I'm caught on something. Ah, uh, no, that was a false grip. It's a barnacle. Ow, that was a fault. <laughs> Go away. Down, boy. <laughs> right, okay. If it's going to be like that. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, now I won't blunder into them by mistake. So, here we have a lift. Oh, that was nearly all my magnum ammunition. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know, I... I find the, um... Are they dead? Yes, they are. Interesting. Um... I've lost my train of thought completely now. Why are there so many... Maybe it's that... Maybe it's this thing was going around killing all the, um... Crabs. 
So, yes, I'm not sure it was really worth shooting all those barnacles, to be honest. Uh, it might have been a waste of ammunition, and I'm going to regret it. I've got a reasonable amount of shotgun ammunition, though. That's pretty good. That was a bad idea. I've just remembered that that was in the, <laughs> in the ooze down at the bottom. Uh, oh, no. Am I going to regret this? Um, there's a gap there. Maybe I can run out into it and lift them down. Or it's just going to stop halfway. There's a ladder there. I can't get over to it. I don't think. Oh! I was probably meant to. Where was that ladder? The ladder was over here somewhere. Ah! Help. Ah! Oh, too slow. Right. So, I think I know what I should have done there. Oh, this is going to give me another chance to not waste all my ammunition on the, um... On the barnacles. That's nice of it. <laughs> Excellent. Now, there was something through here. Some many cats, I think. And a battery as well. Excellent. Even better. Right. Let's... I mean... <laughs> the frustrating thing about that... Is I'm pretty sure... I knew where I went... I know where I went wrong. I was thinking on the way down. Oh, that's a barnacle eating a random bit of... Detroit. Like that. <laughs> I wonder if those explode. Let's find out. Oh! Turns out barnacles drop things when you shoot them. That's worth knowing too. Okay. Um, okay, so what I reckon I did wrong last time. So that lift, uh, that, no, that ladder I saw on the way up. I think I'm supposed to... Slightly embarrassing because that got me in exactly the same way last time. <laughs> uh, and that's when I got annoyed and shot all the barnacles. Right. Let's try this again with a bit less fail this time. That seems to be the um, the motto of this playthrough, really, doesn't it? Let's do that again, but not quite so badly. So, the lift goes down into the green goo at the bottom, and in fact, it, it gets dropped into it, which is even more um, unfortunate. But it gets caught on something part way down, like that. Where was it? Over here, there we go. So I need to jump out over here onto this. And then not go down as that, that's good. That's an improvement over last time. And now I need to trust in the ladder physics. Jeez, right. <laughs> that was a long drop. Um, that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> it was just the watching the wall and the ladder flash past and getting gradually greener as I fell down there. That was awful. Oh, a scientist. Hello. I hope no one expects me to go start the generator. The Smithers went down there. And never came back. Guess I'll give it a shot. That's kind of why I'm here. Don't think any of this is interactive. There's an exploding box. Anything to explode with it? No. Getting through there anytime soon. Oh, I see. Airlock yeah, cycles automatically. So I walk in, and the doors close like it's a trap. Yeah, like that. And then we go out this side. Mmm, green. Oh, 
One barnacle's up there. But they... Oh, for goodness sake. Ow. I was just going to say, they don't seem to be hanging down this far, but I couldn't actually see that one. There we go. Take out that one as well. Nice. I wonder if that's what happened to Smithers. Let's have a reload of absolutely everything before I go up here. Never know what you're going to find. That's full. That's full. 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 Grenades. You can't reload grenades. Um. I feel like I need a giant screwdriver to tighten this up slightly <laughs> to make it start working again. Is that another barnacle? Yes, it is. Given my current luck with them, I am just going to shoot that. So we've got a big magnet over there. I suppose we have to find the controls. We'll trundle that over and drop it down into here. At which point, no doubt, the entire thing will start spinning in some kind of wonderfully dangerous way. And I'm going to have to get back past it despite, I don't know, flying lightning bolts or something. Fire in the hole! Oh, perfect shot. Ha! Nice. I do wonder... Oh, there's, there's, that, that's presumably um, Smithers. For some reason, Smithers had grenades. And ammunition. Okay, I don't see anything interactive with the big... Oh, here we go. Boop. There goes the um, coil for the middle of that. I haven't been over there yet, so presumably that's the next thing to do. E. This is my hiding spot. I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Now go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. Huh. I had to ditch the others. They were just dead weight, holding me back. Maybe Smithers came off better than we thought. And now, yes, that gets lowered in there like that. And then this whole area gets incredibly dangerous. And I start to think maybe I should have run through there while it was still turned off. Okay, that's not looking too too bad. It's humming away gently like some sort of big magnetic electrodubery thingy. That's become less dangerous than expected. I'm impressed. Oof. Bloody ladders. Right. So is this some sort of nuclear power plant? I mean, there's radioactive sludge at the bottom there. A big pipe coming up out of it. And a spinning magnet at the top. I <laughs> don't know what kind of science they're trying to do here. That was surprisingly easy, given how much... I mean, that's probably famous last words. And it's going to be something horrific on the other side of this door when it opens. But... But considering how much faffing around I had to do with that fan and stuff on the other... Ow! Considering how much faffing around I had to do with that giant fan thing on the other side when I turned the fuel on, to have this side simply be a case of run in, flick a couple of switches and run out again. Yeah, okay, there was some barnacles, but nothing, nothing too difficult. Oh, this is the difficult bit. I have to work out how to get back up here. So we've got this ladder that goes about halfway up out of the, out of the lift shaft. I haven't seen anywhere else to go. No. Radiation levels detected. Have I bitched about the um, 
ladder physics enough today, because that... Oh. I don't know about you, but when I play a first-person shooter and I run up to a ladder, and I run into it, I expect my character to sort of grab onto it and start climbing it. Apparently that's not the case. Grumble, 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 grumble. Ah, oh, this is where I came from. Excellent. That's why everything's dead. There wasn't, no, there's nothing down there. Okay. Now back to the um, glitchy tentacle demon thing, and we'll see if we can get past, back up past that. I think now that I know how it's glitched, I'm a bit more optimistic about getting past it. The last episode was just really frustrating because it didn't, you know, get ready power. Because it just wasn't obeying the rules. So it kept getting me when I should have been safe. But now that I know what rules it's playing by, hopefully things will be a bit easier. Where I press the jump button and I <laughs> chip. Uh, alternatively, I'll spend the rest of the episode trying to get over a simple jump puzzle. I say puzzle, it's not even a puzzle, it's just a jump. Um, and you'll all start to shout and scream at your screens and tell me I'm a complete utter noob. Which, to be honest, isn't entirely unjustified. Oh, yeah, jumping help. Run running before you jump help, doesn't it? Idiot. Right. <laughs> Um, I'm doing that instead of using the traditional crowbar because the traditional crowbar will be rather noisy and I'd probably get one of those things in my face. Oh sh I'm doing that because grenade's difficult. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Explode. What happened to my grenade? It's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. There we go. I think. Where's the ladder? There's the ladder. Ow. Oh. And then the ladders. This is going to be a long process. On the plus side, I've remembered about running now. That might <laughs> help a little bit. So the idea is, you put a grenade down the hole in the middle, it explodes, That might have been because I accidentally jumped. I don't know. I apologise for being bad at the game. <laughs> Let's leave one of these behind, actually, next time. I mean, this part is straightforward enough. Bang! Check one of them there, and not use that for a little while. That goes down there. Naughty tentacle monsters ignore it completely. Cheats.
pick it around here. Oh. Ah. Sodding ladders. I mean, <laughs> oh, goodness sake. Say a poor workman blames his fools and all that, but So, yes, I have. Thank goodness for that. Oh! Ah. <laughs> so close! I think. I mean, I was certainly no more than two ladders away from finishing that bit. Maybe I shouldn't run. Maybe sneaky sneaky is the way to go. At least want to get one level up. Oh. again. Right, they're distracted at the moment, that's good. Sneaky sneaky seems to be worky worky. I think this is going to be the next one to, to do. To trigger that now there we go excellent one more ladder I don't want to have to throw another grenade down because they'll hear me and horribly slaughter me but that oh oh yes I think I've done it now I just need to hit the big green button in, in here And there we go, this is Blombe. Oh, phew. Test fire the rocket. <laughs> well, I guess it's true. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Oh, I am so glad to have got that bit done. <laughs> Right. Now what? <laughs> Let's go back in there now, it's safe. Ooh, more grenades. Let's have some of them as well. You never know, they might come in useful. Right, there's a bottomless pit down there with some ladders. Let's go and investigate it. Oh, I don't know how many times I died trying to do that bit, that whole puzzle thing. That was, although to be honest, I have to admit, I did notice that once I started doing it properly, that is tiptoeing everywhere, or crouching everywhere, crouch walking, it suddenly started to go a whole lot better. Like, you know, maybe that was what I was supposed to be doing all along. <laughs> I suspect that if I tried that again now, having... Yay! Mmm, tasty. Having learnt a little bit, 
uh, from doing it the first couple of times, then I'd be able to do it a lot more efficiently with a lot fewer deaths. Also, that thing was massive. How is there only this much burning meat left? I guess I need to carry on downwards. Alright, there's a bit more down here. A bit more, a bit more. Anywhere to go? Maybe not. Let's get some more air before I go and have another look around. Yee. Okay, I think I need to go out through the bottom again and then possibly up. Or out, out, or out around the edge and up like this. Yeah, there we go. That's promising. Maybe somewhere around here they'll be way out. Yes, there we go. A lot of green. That's a dangerous sign. Hmm. Lovely. Some sort of power mill of <laughs> sludge. Crikey. Um. Yeah. Black Mesa in the environment. Best of friends. Shotgun ammo. Nice. These are of course going to be locked. They're only there to make it look like there is an actual way for real people to get here when they're not playing some clown in an HEV suit. And the way you're really quick to go is to go across here. And then drop onto these pipes. Yes. Nice. There's nothing down there though, I just expected to get I don't know, I feel get shelled by one of the spiffy things or something like that. I don't see anything over there, so let's this isn't the way to go, so let's go this way first in case there's a bonus pickup. Can't be the only person to play like that, can I? And then realise there's actually nothing at all that way and go back to it. Hang on, right, so we've got this area that's obviously you're not supposed to get onto really, that's why there's doors up there that just happen to not work. And yet there's these valves on here with big handles on them as if it's as if they're expecting people to come along there. <laughs> what have we talked what have we said about health and safety black mesa? Hmm? Can I get across there? Let's find out. No! Ow! Oh no, it isn't ow. I preempted out. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. Okay. What have we got down here? Scenery, scenery, scenery. Boxes. Mmm, HEV juice. Right. I'm at 100%. There is plenty of um, extra juice left in those things. They're obviously expecting you to either be really, really hurting at this point, which, to be fair, you've just gone past that... Um, what do you call it? Thing. Oh, I see. Um, Train of thought, right, you've either gone past, just gone past the giant tentacle monster thing, which probably hurt you a fair bit, um, or you've fallen in that green goo down there, so it's probably, it's probably for those. So, let's see. Um, what have I learned? I don't want to go down there onto the floor, because the only place to go is back up there and go around the puzzle again. Can I get up there? Let's try. Yes. This is better, I think. Oh, good to say. All this. Nope, this is a locked door as well. So, I must have to go this way. I hear something breathing in a weird, alien-y way. That worries me. Am I about to get attacked? Interestingly, my Geiger counter isn't ticking. This I sort of assume from having played a GTA in my life, but the sort of green stuff that makes you highly radioactive. Maybe it's toxic sludge instead, that's why it's not Geigering me. What's this supposed to do? Turn the wheel, it. Let's find out. 
Oh, I see. No, oh, the other one. It's going to pull it up, and I'm going to have to use it as a bridge to get across that other piece of pipe right now, so. Or it is pipe. Okay. Still, seems bad. Any higher? No, that's not off. Ouch. <laughs> you lost. Come on, There we go. <laughs> Is there anything worthwhile down here apart from the head trap? Actually, more to the point. When I cross over here, I'm going to need to be inside the pipe. Okay. Okay, look at that. Ladder. You're a nuclear physicist, you should be able to work out how to use a ladder. That's some odd shiny lighting. Um, I probably shouldn't be too rude about the about the game engine. <laughs> oh. Um. Help. Stop. That wasn't quite the sort of time. Where's my, yeah, here's my head crab gun. Because where there's one, there's always more than one. Where is he? There he is. And another, ah, where there's two, there's often three. I probably should have been using the crowbar. I don't know. Can anyone hear any more? A bit of an it's quiet, too quiet, except I can hear the groaning of pipe work or something off in the distance. Is that a head crab? I think it's a dead crab. A nice touch with the uh, medikits hanging on, all, hanging on, on an invisible peg. Good. Ooh, limpet mines. <laughs> yes. So does that mean I'm going to find something that's patrolling? I don't want to have that ready. Oh, back to the. Um, Marines. Let's leave them fighting whatever it is they're fighting for a bit. Actually, no, let's give them one of these. That one. <laughs> that was a bit much for a shotgun blast. I wonder what they're fighting. Whatever it is. Holy, holy, yeah, I'm going to leave them to that for a bit, I think. <laughs> I don't really want to be involved. <laughs> that looks above beyond my, a bit above my pay grade. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think it's gone. Jeez. <laughs> uh, good. Right, you know what I think? I think this is a good point to end the episode <laughs> and then we'll go and find out what the hell that is and how I'm going to defeat it in the next one. Maybe those limpet mines will have something to do with it. I hope you'll join me for that. Goodness knows how that's going to go. But I think it'll be fun to find out. Thanks for watching.